live right now, Malcolm McAllister, fresh off his second round stoppage. Sent his man through the ropes. How you feeling right now, man? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, feeling real good. good. Yeah. Was there anything, I mean, you know, you're probably your own worst critic. Is there anything after that fight you feel like maybe you need to work on? Um, you know what, in the beginning of the fight, making my mind up, do I want to be the aggressor or do I want him to come to me? You know, but it's all about, you know, ring generalship in there. I think today I was a little a little slow in making my mind up, so I didn't make my mind up a little faster in what exactly it is that I want to do. Uh, yeah, you let him out the first round, huh? You know, <laughs> Not um, too bad, man. <laughs> I didn't think that shot was going to, you know, be that effective. That was just because he was moving, so I had to slow him down. So, you know, stop a runner, you go to the body. Yep. And I went to the body, and it was... That was all she wrote. And that guy had never been stopped before, so he told me that. He was like, man, you the first one to stop me. I was like, man, you know, like I seen you, you were, you was a tough guy, because you took some pretty good shots earlier, too. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about the way he was fighting? Was he fighting a little dirty, or? No, no, he was clean. Um, it's a fight, man, so whatever happens in there, if that's what it, they, he feel like, like when I slipped and got tangled in the rope, uh -huh. and he tried to take me out, I mean, it's a fight, you know? Protect yourself at all times, that's the number one rule. Uh -huh. So I'm not gonna be like, oh, man, he tried to hit me, no, nah, whatever, if that's what you gotta do to feel that you're gonna win, do it, I don't care, uh -huh. it's up to me, yeah. you know? So what was, uh, what was the thing that you worked on the most in this camp? Moving my feet. Okay. Yeah. Because I was going to say just something that I saw, man. I noticed your defense was sharp oh, compared yeah. to the last fight I seen you in. Your head movement, I, he was on the ropes like over on the on the left-hand side, and your head movement was on point, man. He, he slipped all time. those punches. Yeah, he threw about like, four or five punches. Uh-huh. And then he was like, he, was back, he can't hit me, so he just stopped. And yeah. I, you know, I smiled and was like, yeah, come on. Yeah, that, that's the thing that impressed me the most. I mean, yeah. obviously we know you got pop, but that defense, that defense looked real nice. Oh, man. yeah, yeah. I got D. Uh -huh. People that don't think I got D, I got D. <laughs> <laughs> Jack rap style too. <laughs> so uh, tell me, man, like, do you want to fight before the year's out? What's what's your plan? Man, I, I, I hope I can fight like three or four more times before the year's out. Uh -huh. You know, that's the plan. I'm hoping. I'm waiting. Any idea what's next? Where's next? Um, maybe here again in October. Who knows? Uh -huh. I have no idea, but I will be ready. Yes, sir. As always, man, it seems like you're real focused, you know, you're grinding. You don't you don't seem like the type to be slipping, ever missing weight or anything like that. Always on point, huh? Yes, sir. All right, man, well, we hope to uh, have you back here again. And what, how do you feel about fighting over here in Orange County? I like it over here. It's cool. You know, it's close to home. And, um, yeah, yeah, you got a big crowd over here, man. Yeah, I didn't the know the crowd was ever at that. Now I see everybody cheering. I said, oh, that's a, yeah. that's a big old man. Yo, and they, were sur and they were surrounding you. I couldn't even get a video of you walking out, man. Everybody was all up on you, man. So congratulations on your win, man. Enjoy your night. Thank you, Mom.